hi and welcome back to my youtube channel so this video is about the time we went to Badulla by LODC train so I hope you guys know what LODC train is it's a special train uh, which starts from Colombo and uh, goes via Kandy to Badulla and the total train ride is of a period of 10 hours and 23 minutes I know it's a very long time the reason for the long time duration is the fact that this train stops in the most scenic and important locations uh, from Kandy to Badung. So just like in most trains in Sri Lanka, they bring you the tea or the coffee. Uh, actually they only give tea once and then you can coffee get coffee in other times. I was a bit annoyed about that because I'm a huge tea fan. This is my tea and this is us very happy. If you're going in the first class, just remember that it's going to be a bit cold. So don't forget to get your bunny hats <laughs> if you have them. This is the Elgin waterfall and the train stops for like two minutes here. If you're coming with a bigger crowd, you can always book the whole compartment for yourself and have fun like them. I love these tickets are a bit on the expensive side. The third class one way ticket per person is 3000. The second class is 4000. For the first class air conditioned stadium it's 5000. And you always have to book your tickets prior to your journey. You can book your tickets 30 days prior to your journey. And there are three ways to book your tickets. You can use uh, M ticketing or Mobitel. Uh, online booking system or else you can visit the Colombo Fort Railway Station and book your tickets or else the easiest way you can visit the railway department website and book your tickets but there will be a service charge added if you are using this online booking system my advice for you is to book the LODC just for one way of your journey cost 20 hours plus Traveling up and down is a bit frustrating. Trust me. I'm telling you with experience and It can be a killjoy so to have and to enjoy the most of the journey Just use a lot one way ticket and Use another mode of transportation or another train for your return journey They also have a canteen in the train, but everything is a bit more expensive than the normal price. You can also get rice packets for lunch, but you have to pre-order. If you pre-order your lunch, you will get it around 2 to 3 pm. And now we are heading to Indalga Singh station. It is one of the most beautiful stations in Sri Lanka. Uh, because of its amazing view This station is located in the area which separates two zones of Sri Lanka the wet zone and the intermediate zone Because of that the climate here changes within minutes <laughs> And now we are passing the Valimada plateau this area is also very scenic and it's like out of a movie and uh, we can experience the difference of the climate from Indalgasin up till Indalgasin to here. The temperature was low when we were passing Indalgasin and now it's getting drier and warm. This is the Badulla station. 
We stayed at Badulla for two days and now we are returning to Colombo. I told you this Al Odyssey train stops at several scenic regions and the Demodere Bridge or the Nine Arch Bridge is one of such places. Train stops here for about 10 to 15 minutes. If you're coming from Colombo, you can see the St. Class waterfall after you pass the Cotagala station. The train does not stop here but it slows down. Back at Colombo. Home sweet home. You have to travel to miss your home. If you watched the video up till now, thank you very much. And it means a lot to me. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos. Till then, bye.